Hot takes are just opinions that <laughs> people off. <laughs> Hi, I'm Scott. I'm Jen. We are Retro Rivals, and uh, this is a video that Jen has been harassing me to do for a very long time, and I kept saying no, but like a good wife, she made me do it. No. He brought no. it up. He brought it up, and I was like, you jerk. I have mentioned this so many times, and now you're like, you know what would be a really good video? We should no. do hot takes. Don't put those words in my hot mouth. Hot take! My husband's wrong. No, that's a pretty regular take. I got a list. Jen has a list. <laughs> We don't know what are on these lists. Jen's gonna go first. Shock me with your hot take. Okay, I'm just gonna go down the list. I believe trophy hunting, 100% completing a game can ruin a good gaming experience. I don't see the point of it. I don't understand a gamer score. I don't get it because I've never been that person because I can't be. I'm just not that good at games. Sometimes it'll take me hours to beat a boss and I can't spend 20 extra hours in the game just to get all the achievements I need. I It would ruin it for me and it's, it, it's pointless I, to me. I have a little, I have something very similar to that. Yeah. Maybe even two because I separated them. I don't get the whole digital trophy thing. Yeah. It, it's it's nothing. It's like it's like if you gave me a picture of I don't know a banana tree is it? You Look, have bananas you now. You got a banana. <laughs> uh, no, I don't. <laughs> like, yeah, like I know that's stupid, but I don't get it. It doesn't mean anything to me. It's probably because we're not online gamers, and that's why I think. Yeah. I think that's it's like their own little gamer cred there between each other. We we, we play couch co-op. And it's the same with the, like the gamer score and, and like and the digital trophies. Like it doesn't mean anything to me. It's it's literally nothing. It, yeah, I agree, hundred percent. I'm trying to find another spicy one. Just go in order. I don't care about Smash Bros. <laughs> I don't either. I hate that game. <laughs> <laughs> I do not see the appeal to it. I don't hate the game. I just don't understand. I hate the game. <laughs> it's like Mario Kart to me. I it, I see it. I play. I've actually played. It's a bit as much as I played Mario Kart. I'll go you one better. I hate versus games. Like I don't like one v one fighting games. I just don't get them. I'm like, to what end? How did we? How did we finish this thing? See, I used to love one. You, you did. I yeah. used to like the Street Fighters, the Mortal Kombat's, all like all and those I games. And I played them when I was younger. Dead or alive. Really loved, loved them. them. Loved them. There, I did. I think that's my thing. Okay. Next hot take. Using save states that are not built in the game is not beating the game, it's finishing. It's not, you haven't beat it, you haven't completed it, you finished it. This mostly applies to retro games because honestly, there's like yeah. so many save states in new games that it's built in to be able to save it whenever you want, walk away from it. Modern games are built so that everybody can beat mm -hmm. it. And that mindset that we have that it, you uh, you didn't beat the game unless you played it without save states is because we grew up with a game where you had three lives and once you died, you're you done. Die. That's it. Kids don't understand that. They're like, what do you mean? I'm dead. Like, yeah, no, like, you're dead. No, you're dead. You gotta start over. What? Like, <laughs> but seriously, can you imagine somebody telling you that they beat uh, Ninja Gaiden, Turtles, Mike Tyson's Punch Out, any of those games, those really freaking hard Nintendo games, oh, I beat it too, but I used it on an emulator and I said, well, I've not for Tyson, literally, but I save stated I've it. I've literally heard people say that. Oh, and it doesn't. Save, save states and rewind and stuff no, like that. No, because like, it's empty. It's it's not. You've seen the game. You've seen you. the game. You, um, but You finished it. You, you didn't. Oh, no, beat I, it. I beat it. Okay, well, come over to my place and I'll put the cart in the yeah. machine and the legit Nintendo. We'll play it old school and you show me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, I, and I, I'll be the first to admit, I finished Adventure Island. I did not beat it because I had to save state. The second last level with that friggin' spider jump got me and I couldn't do it. So, anyways. This one could be... Get us kicked off YouTube? No. Okay. I think if Xbox 360 on launch released better hardware, they would have won that generation of console wars, hands down. I don't think that was so much Xbox 360's fault yeah. as it was that certain developers finally figured out how to use the PS3 to its full capacity. Yeah. Like Naughty Dog changed the game with The Last of Us and were able to get that working on the console I'm, and using it using it to its full capacity. I'm just it was amazing. Saying that that red ring of death 
yeah. was such a huge deal. I'm yes. sure it turned off a lot of people. I've had I have a friend that had like six of them. Oh done. yeah. Like it's yeah. insane. I've had multiple rings of that. Now, when you look at the Xbox 360 consoles from the first one to the last one, yeah. they only got better. When you look at the PlayStation 3 <laughs> from the first one to the last one, yeah, I know. It, I know. They completely swapped. They swapped. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Next one on my list. Online gaming sucks. I have something similar. I put online gaming does not compare to no. couch co-op. There. He said it better. It's not the same experience. It's not? Anybody says, it's it's like, I, here's my way I'll justify it or try to describe it to you how I think of it is. You can talk to somebody on the phone or you can talk to somebody face to face. Yeah, and you and get all their like, you know that's the mean? difference, yeah. Little mannerisms in their face or facial expressions, like tone and everything. You, yeah, you feel it in the room. When everybody's yeah. pissed off, frustrated, or laughing and having fun or whatever, it's yeah. like, it's a thing. It's yeah. the whole thing. But it's not as effective for me to give you the silent treatment when we're online gaming because you're going to be like, hey, hey, what's going on? Did I your uh, mic cut out? What's going on? When I give you the silent treatment in here, you feel relieved. So you don't get that same sort of relief. I'm gonna mute you a long time. <laughs> <laughs> and I get to hit you, which See? I do. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I'm gonna hop down a couple on my list. I hate the whole gatekeeping community. You don't want emulation because you own the game and you don't want other people to be able to play the game because you want them to have to go spend the thousand dollars like you did or whatever. That's it's crazy. It's insanity. And I yeah. hate even more when people accuse us in the comments of being gatekeepers. I'm like, I don't care how you play the game. I'm no. just saying play the game. Yes, exactly. I'm just telling you how I prefer to play the game. If I prefer to play my Nintendo on the original hardware on a CRT, it's because I'm old and that's how I grew up with it. And yes. it doesn't look right on the flat screen. It doesn't. That's and what I it is. agree. And maybe you wouldn't think so unless you tried it on a CRT and once you do it's kind of hard to go back it's it was meant to be played I, that I, way I it just think it's it's different way. but if you've never you never yeah. grew up on a CRT with those games yeah and your only experience is a flash screen like I you couldn't tell them any different right mm, no yeah yeah I get that more remakes I don't care if anybody's tired of remakes or like no original content blah 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 I want more remakes. I want everything remade. I want access. I want Kuan re remade. I want Rule of Rose remade. I can't play these games until you remake them because it costs a thousand dollars. More re remakes. Gen for remakes 2024. That's the t-shirt right yeah. there. Um, we'll make remakes great again. <laughs> uh, remakes, I see where you're coming from, but you're not gonna get what you want because the games that you want, like Kuan and Rule of Rose and stuff like that, are probably not gonna be remade because uh, those decisions are made by people sitting behind desks, looking at charts and determining how many units they can sell, yeah. what the profit margins are and all that. I think you're better off with those kind of games to uh, hopefully more fans work on games. Like there's been a lot of stuff. Yeah. That, that fan, community has done a lot of work on certain games. I think when it comes to remakes, why would you remake uh, uh, an Xbox 360 no. game? No! Why would, why you, would remake you remake The Last of Us 2? Yeah, like PS3 and, and 360, I don't think those just... That's foolish right now. Yeah. Can we remake older generation yes. games there? I that agree. are very difficult to get your hands on that a lot of people want to play. Exactly. You know. I'm stealing this from Square Pegs. Sports games do matter. And yes. so those are his exact words. So I'm assuming if you're watching us right now, you've probably already seen that, maybe. Yeah. But sport, I like, I, I'm tired of that. People say that ah, sports games don't matter. The sport games suck there, whatever. It's uh, And it's not about the whole money and the industry and all that stuff for me. It's like sports games can be fantastic mm -hmm. couch co-op games. I know I've spent thousands of hours mm -hmm. playing sports games, whether it be baseball, hockey, wrestling, golf. Golf, I love golf games, I you know? love them. And I'm sure I'm even 
forgetting something. Yeah. But there's like the fact that they're like, ah, sports games don't matter. I, no, I would miss sports games if sports games just disappeared. You know? They look forward to a Sunday or Friday when I'm working and they're not working so they can play Super Mega Baseball. Yeah. Hands down. Good night. Some days we'll all have the weekend off and and they'll be like, you should go you, play you, you a game or paint. go paint or you something. You should do something else. Or go make me a sandwich. Yeah, <laughs> like you take two hours to make it, please. We want to play baseball. So. Two hours is not enough. No, it's not. Because <laughs> they'll play. I'll go to work for an eight hour shift. Dennis will we'll be start here before. before. <laughs> and sometimes he'll still be here when I get home. So they'll play for like nine, ten hours. I think we played 16 games last time. And they take? It's about 25 minutes a game. There you go. Yeah. And you also ate food and piss breaks and all that stuff. Drink so beer like, have fun. it was a whole it's eight good hours. Good times. Good times. It was eight hours. Oh yeah, it's good times. Yeah. Most modern horror games are lackluster, and I love horror games, but I don't want to walk around and just have it to be jump scares and sounds. You and see? no real agency in a game, like I just have, a fancy walking. I have simple. a theory on this. Okay. Because you've played so many games, you're starting to get desensitized, and now you know how it feels when I'm sitting here watching or playing a scary game in the room with me and Dennis. Something happens, you two jump like ah, and I'm like what? Like, it doesn't. I don't get that thrill. It does. There's not much that catches me off guard. Well, this is the thing. Be, you're right. Before I was yeah. desensitized to a horror game, there was still that edge, right? You're missing the edge. Now. I'm missing the edge. Yeah. Now, I've played some horror games recently. Uh, just for instance, uh, Condemned, Criminal Origins. <clears throat> Loved it. It was such a great game. Xbox 360. So you would say... But I've played some walking sim games that I'll, I'll consider them walking sims that were just plain boring. And I'm like, why? Okay, Martha well, is Dead is so terrible to me. Like, I, just terrible. Can I add to your... Yes. I would, I would say that... Retro horror games did a much better. Uh, they had to. They they were way better at setting the atmosphere. Yes. With sounds and music mm -hmm. and just setting that tension and really playing on the imagination. Yes. And I was watching uh, Unnecessary Rambling today, Brandon, and they were talking about there's a lot of first person horror games. There's not a lot of third-person horror games that you really feel like you're involved in, like your character's there in the story. It just feels like a walking sim. And it's just, it's overplayed, it's done. Move on from that, make a good one. You think like, they're killing the genre? A little do you bit. Do you think? It's meant for VR, that's when This that's, is a hot take right here. This generation is way softer than the older generation, so they have oh, to yeah. make games a little bit uh, more sensitive. Sure. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, oh, don't scare me. Like they took uh, Resident, Resident Evil. Resident Evil 8, you thought should have been scarier. It wasn't scary at all. It wasn't scary compared to 7. Now, Resident I, Evil 8 was as scary as Resident Evil 6. You haven't played Resident Evil 4. I can hear this every time. It's I haven't played it. Hey, hey, but I think that's... But I don't, it doesn't matter if I played it or not. I'm telling you, it wasn't scary. I know. It wouldn't have scared me more if no. I had played 4. No, but... <laughs> I think I'm enjoying it more because I had that built-in nostalgia for four. I'm like, not saying anything about enjoying. I enjoyed the you game. You did, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was a good game. It's not. I a scary didn't think game. it was scary. Yeah. At all. Yeah. It hit like a I won't say zero on the scale of scary. Well, it's not a zero, but yeah, scary. it was. No. Yeah, it was. No, not for most people. Yeah. You're just dead inside. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. The more I play Xbox, the more I think. That console was the best console in that generation. Like OG Xbox? Yes. Yeah, I can see that. It definitely have more power. Mm hmm. And it's a much easier console to collect for because of the price. Yes. Much nicer console to mod. Modernize it. Like, I modded mine and oh man. You oh. guys have been enjoying the crap out of that. Yeah. Like, system linking. We it. System linking yeah. it. Well, I modded three of my Xboxes. And I have a good library of games. Mm -hmm. So really good library. I have a big a hard drive on one. That was my main one. I put the entire library on that. Yeah. And then the other ones have smaller hard drives. So if me and Alex are gonna play a co-op game, mm -hmm. I only need one disc. Now, after me saying all this, I had a PS2 long before I had oh, an yeah. OG Xbox. Yes. And then I had an OG Xbox. 
didn't enjoy it and then sold it. And then coming back to it later on, because I became more of a collector, yeah. and I was like, these games are way cheaper, I can try more games. Yeah. And I was like, the more I play it, the more I realize it's an excellent console. It is. It really, really is. Underrated. Mm -hmm. I agree. I almost never play DLCs because once I'm done with the game, I'm done. So if you come out with a DLC four months later, even if I love the game, Resident Evil 4... You're already on to your next game. I'm probably... Yeah, I'm on to the next game. I've lived that yeah. experience. I'm done. I moved I'm out. on. Yeah. I'm done. I wonder if a lot of DLCs are just kind of a money grab. It, I think so. It, like, like an in-game buying option thing or whatever the hell it's called. Like in-game purchase. Like that's... It kind of feels like that, but fancy. I miss... I miss in games... This may be a hot take. <laughs> I miss in games where... Instead of unlocking things in a game, now you have to download things. I miss just having a game with everything in there and you need to commit to play. And the more things you unlock, it's it's awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, you just want to keep playing. Yeah. All right. That's our hot takes. God knows how long this video will be or if it'll be a two-part video. Two-part video. Two-part video. You call that hot takes? Hot takes, really? But guess what? This is a two-part video. We're coming back next week with the hottest of the hot takes. Ooh. This one's gonna piss me off? No, but I don't think you'll put this one on. YouTube resellers are- And nobody's safe. We let our opinions run loose, and this next video might get us in a little bit of trouble. Stay tuned.